Australia has produced some great songs in contemporary music over the years, whether that be the biggest chart-topping hits or songs that perfectly embody Australian culture. This list counts down what I believe to be the top 30 Australian songs of all time. I'm only including one song per artist, and it's just contemporary music, so no waltzing Matildas. Feel free to comment your agreements or disagreements below. Let's get into the list. Number 30, Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet. One of the biggest indie rock hits of the 2000s, this song was smashed all over Hollywood movies, TV shows, and advertisements upon release. Who could forget those iPod commercials? Number 29, Prisoner of Society by The Living End. The Australian punk rock anthem from the 90s. This song burst the living end into the spotlight all around the world upon release. The song was voted in at 34 in Triple J's Hottest 100 of all time in 2009. Number 28, Riptide by Vance Joy. A more recent hit, Vance Joy struck commercial gold with this ukulele bop which caught the hearts of many music fans worldwide, charting in multiple countries and reaching nine times platinum in Australia. Number 27, The Less I Know The Better by Tame Impala. Kevin Parker hit mainstream success with this disco rock hit that went viral on TikTok and was voted the number one song of the 2010s by Triple J listeners. Number 26, The Nosebleed Section by Hilltop Hoods. Undoubtedly the biggest hip hop song to come out of Australia. Aussies voted this song in at 17 on Triple J's Hottest 100 of all time in 2009, the highest rated Australian song on that list. Number 25, I Touch Myself by The Divinals. An Aussie 80s classic, this song propelled the Divinals into superstardom with its ultra catchy but cheeky chorus. It still reminds me mostly of Austin Powers killing fembots with his mojo though. Number 24, The Horses by Daryl Braithwaite. A guilty pleasure for many Aussies, young and old. The cover version of this song, Horses, yes, it's actually a cover, went massive in the early 90s and saw a recent resurgence in modern meme culture for its amazing chorus. Number 23, Can't Get You Out of My Head by Kylie Minogue. You literally can't get this song out of your head. This Kylie hit went massive all over the world, gaining platinum status in many countries. It's often remembered for its catchy na na na's and Kylie's risque outfit in the music video. Number 22, Under the Milky Way by The Church. An Aussie alt-rock classic, The Church launched themselves back into the spotlight when they released this hit. It has enjoyed underground success for many years, especially after its inclusion in the cult classic movie Donnie Darko. Number 21, Into My Arms by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. A beautiful piano ballad, Nick Cave put his whole heart into this song. It's mostly stayed as a more underappreciated song, but alternative music fans adore this song worldwide. Number 20, Tomorrow by Silverchair. (laughs) 
A song written by a bunch of 14 year old kids doesn't normally sound like it would be respected, but Silverchair proved age was no barrier when their debut single went massive all over the world in the 90s grunge boom. Number 19, Somebody That I Used To Know by Gotye featuring Kimbra. Gotye struck gold with this art pop song that was the biggest song in the world in the early 2010s. Its incredibly unique but catchy sound won Gotye a Grammy and left a lasting legacy that he has never even given an addition to. Number 18, To Her Door by Paul Kelly. In the Australia's greatest storyteller needs to be in here, and this song, which is his most dramatic but beautiful story, is arguably his most recognisable. I could have maybe gone with How to Make Gravy or Dumb Things Too. Number 17, Don't Dream It's Over by Crowded House. No, I'm not saying they're a New Zealand band, okay? Arguably, this is Crowded House's biggest hit, especially overseas. They had some other big hits in Australia too, with Better Be Home Soon and Weather With You. Number 16, Reckless by Australian Core. Can anyone work out what James Rain is saying in the song? No? Oh well. It still sounds great anyway. A beautiful ballad from one of the biggest pub rock bands of the 80s in Australia. Number 15, Am I Ever Gonna See Your Face Again by The Angels. Now for arguably the biggest pub rock hit, this song was a 10 out of 10 for crowd interaction that is still enjoyed by many Aussies to this day. Wait, so you're saying this only came in at 15? Number 14, These Days by Powderfinger. Another band with a disputable biggest song, I have to go with These Days over my happiness. They were both massive hits for the finger back in the day, but 21 in the hottest 100 of all time is no mean feat for these days. Number 13, Throw Your Arms Around Me by Hunters and Collectors. Grab your guitar, pull out the marshmallows, around the campfire, and get ready to sing along to this chorus. Hunters and Collectors made an undying classic with this love ballad in the 80s. Number 12, Never Tear Us Apart by In Excess. One of Australia's greatest exports of all time, it's once again the ballad that I'm going to have to go with as their biggest song. This one went big all over the world, but is slowly getting bought out by the Port Adelaide Football Club. Number 11, Treaty by Yofu Yindi. An indigenous Australian classic. I'm not sure if I'm counting the original or the remix, or maybe just both. It's a beautiful story of Australian indigenous culture and an instant classic. Number 10, Friday on My Mind by The Easy Beats. Arguably the first Australian rock and roll stars, this is The Easy Beats most recognizable song. A super catchy chorus and a very creative guitar riff for its time. No one in Australia would say they have never heard this. Number 9, Beds Are Burning by Midnight Oil. The 
the oil's biggest hit all around the world with a poignant message about Australian Indigenous culture. The time has come to put this song in the list and it definitely has to be in the top 10. Number 8. Solid Rock by Goanna. Another beautiful story that meshes Indigenous Australian culture with contemporary music. This song is mostly only recognised by Australians, but for its cultural impact, it deserves to be this high. Number seven, You're the Voice by John Farmer. Another comeback is brewing. Farnsey came back with a bang when he released You're the Voice and it went pretty big all over the world. This song is one of the most endeared Australian songs for big crowds and events. Number six, Sounds of Them by Ganga Jam. It's hard to pinpoint what makes this song so great, but I think it's undeniable that this beautiful poetic description of Australian culture by Ganga Jang would be part of the reason. Number five, Working Class Man by Jimmy Barnes. Lower middle class Aussie battlers will be cheering to see this one up so high. Jimmy Barnes launched his Australian solo career to new heights when his power ballad came out in the 80s and is still a staple in pubs in the suburbs. Number four, Great Southern Land by Ice House. Another song that is able to describe Australian culture in a beautiful poetic way. This song is often used to usher in Australian sports teams passing through the gates of an epic intro to an Aussie event. Number three, It's a Long Way to the Top by ACDC. Australia's greatest exports with probably their biggest song, Long Way to the Top is a staple for classic rock fans all over the world and it's instantly recognisable as soon as you hear the opening guitar chug. Number 2, Down Under by Men at Work. This song went massive all over the world in the 80s when Australia won the America's Cup. Many people will sing this song when referring to an Aussie person and it's strongly embedded in Australian culture. Just before we reveal the number one, I wanted to go over some honorable mentions. Couldn't fit them all in this top 30 obviously and there are some amazing Australian songs that I wanted to add. Check them out in this list here. Number one, K-San by Colt Chisholm. usually regarded as the greatest Australian song of all time. K-San was voted in at number one by Triple M listeners in their best Australian song countdown. It's an incredible story of a Vietnam War veteran dealing with his return to civilization. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm sure you have some disagreements or agreements that you want to discuss in the comments. So please feel free to write something down in there. I'm happy to hear it. Also, if you like this video, and you want to see more stuff about Australian music, please subscribe. Thanks for listening. Bye.